Well, boys, it's a new day. We're back out at Elevated AF, and you know what that means. I'm gonna spend some more money and fill my shop up with a bunch more trucks. Well, I, I should probably actually sell some because I have a lot of them. Anyway, so the plan for today, we're headed over to a buddy of mine's house, and we're possibly gonna buy some vehicles. He has uh, two vehicles that he's been wanting to get rid of, and uh, they weren't really something that I was interested in, but uh, he really needs to get rid of them ASAP, so we're gonna go probably take a look at them, and maybe we'll buy them, and uh, if we do, I guess we'll be taking them back here and getting them built. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and help me make videos just like this. So if you want to see more, well, there's a button down there for that. Well, this is the place right up here. He said he had him at the back shop there. Uh, he's not home, but he said they're all running, and uh, I can take him for a test drive if I want. Yep, shop doors open and there they are Alrighty, what do we have here oh yeah good old xj little two door here nothing too crazy uh that hitch that hitch is interesting i, I don't think i've ever seen anything like that huh really clean paints on this thing uh it's again not really something we do too often, but buddy needs to get rid of them, so I think we might be able to help him out with that. I've been tossing around an idea to, uh, you know, build some sort of a crazy Jeep, and this might be the thing we do it with, but we gotta wait and see. And then this is some kind of an off-brand truck. I have honestly no idea what make or model it is. It looks like a cross between a Ford Ranger and I, I don't need... I don't even know what. Kind of like a Ford Ranger, I guess. But it's not. It's some off-brand truck. There's not even any badging on it, or I guess it's been taken off. Either one. It's got these really wide axles. So that kind of makes me think off-road build with this one as well. So from the looks of it, we picked these vehicles up. This is going to be an off-road build week. Anyways, let's take this thing for a drive. He said this one is a diesel, which is kind of cool. And it's a standard too. I think it's got a little 4BT in it. Nothing too crazy. Got this really cool bumper on the front, kind of. Imagine if we're keeping this as an off-road build, we could definitely use that. I mean, yeah, nice little diesel pickup. I think we could figure something out with this. Okay, so that truck I think is good. We're for sure going to take that. The XJ, I mean, it's just an XJ. Nothing too crazy. But... I guess since my buddy wants to sell them, I'll take this off his hands too. Alrighty, vehicle secured. Let's get the heck out of here. The guys need a project to work on, so we better be getting back. Well, we just made it back to the shop here, and it has started to rain, unfortunately. But luckily, we do like 99% of our work inside, so it's not really an issue. Alright, let's get these in here. The guys can start working on them, and I think we have to take a truck out of the shop. Because we got a guy coming to look at it for a possible trade-in. I just got to go make sure which one it is first. Shouldn't be too hard to find parts for this truck, even though it is off-brand. But it's so similar to a Ford Ranger, I feel like we could probably make something work. Okay, so I just did a quick check here, and we're pulling out the Platinum. Today's the day this thing should be leaving. Oh, that was the wrong truck. This is the right truck. I think a couple episodes I had you guys decide if we're going to keep this truck or sell it. And uh, the main vote was to sell it. So uh, this one is hopefully going to be leaving today. And hopefully very soon we're going to be working on the uh, 2023 F. 350 and uh getting that thing all good to go for our new shop rig but hopefully the guy should be here to look at this in about an hour or so i was just in the office here getting some paperwork done and i'm pretty sure i heard our haul truck pull up oh it's back and it's got my truck oh man check this out oh this thing's nice so this is a 1970s ford f-250 i found this build for sale a couple months ago and uh i ended up buying it it was for a absolutely killer price and uh it's just been sitting at one of my buddy's houses for like three months and my haul truck hasn't been free in the last little while to actually go pick it up but we had a gap in the schedule and uh we finally got it back to the dealership so a couple things about this truck um it is coming swap yeah uh that's something kind of interesting it has had a ton of work done to it it's got a topper on it i actually kind of like the topper but let me know down in the comments section should we keep the topper or should we get rid of it i feel like it looks good with it though but it's got all new suspension brand new wheels and tires all the chromes blacked out on it which i really love bumper on the back custom lighting all the way around the interior is killer nice on it. Like this truck was done to a T and I've been dying to find something like it. And I finally did. So this is going to be the new personal uh, driver. Now I could have found like a 70s 250 and I could have built it all. And that's what I was going to do. But I found this truck and I was like, you know what? I can't pass up this offer. It's got the coolest color on it with the white. It just looks so flipping good. But I think I have a couple customizations in mind for this thing. Like changing up the wheels and tires. Maybe putting on some better four link bars. And I don't know. We'll have to see. 
But since our haul truck's back, that means that a couple more trucks are leaving the shop and getting delivered out to different customers, such as the absolutely crazy Tundra. So we built this truck a while back now, and uh, we've had quite a few people interested in it, but we got a definite buyer now, and uh, it's sold. This one's also got the spinning caps on it, which is sick. But I think we have plans to uh, do a similar lift like this to a different truck, but all different colors and all that, definitely we can make it look pretty dang cool. I just got to lower the bags on this before we uh, stick it on the trailer here. So if we do that, and then we do that, there she goes. She's lowered now. Perfect. Luckily, this truck fits on the trailer real nice and up you go well that's number one and this one right here is number two we actually sold this uh what is it expedition to a dealership a couple hours away i guess they're gonna try sell it it's still got the ball hitch on the top not sure how the dealership's gonna feel about that but not really my issue anymore oh boy this thing's low clearance to get loaded up see usually we don't have that issue with uh vehicles around here but this seems to be one of them gotta send it up almost there we got it all right haul trucks all loaded up this thing's gonna get out of here and uh i think the guy with the trade the platinum should be showing up here any minute now well sure enough there he is. All right, so he's just taking a look at the Ford there real quick. This is a 2018 uh, Duramax Denali GMC. I probably said that all in the wrong order. Anyways, he's got a nice little flatbed on it. This was a welding rig, and he's buying that truck to be his new welding rig. He wants to switch it up, go to Ford. Um, the Platinum is worth significantly more, so obviously there's going to be some cash on top of that trade there, but uh, this is a really nice truck. I think only about 30,000 miles, nothing too crazy. I mean, for a 2018, that's not bad. Everything looks fairly clean, nothing really scratched up, which for a welding truck, that's kind of surprising. Must have had some pretty easy welding jobs then. But all in all, nice truck. I think he's actually moving to a full-on welding bed with this truck, so that CM bed is going to go somewhere else, I guess. Anyway, I think we're going to get talking a deal here with this guy, and then I guess we might own a Duramax. Well, trade was successful. I forgot to mention this thing is tuned and deleted as well which is kind of nice i think we're actually gonna swap out the cummins on that trailer well there we go look at that one of the shop guys has to go pick up one of his builds or the start of a build i guess later next week here so uh this is the setup he's gonna be rocking with well boys it has been about a week here Ooh, still ford there still looking good as ever Anyway, guys have been knocking out the build. Stuff has been going really well, actually. First week, we haven't really had any major screw-ups, but builds for this week are done. Uh, before we get to that absolute monstrosity over there, uh, we gotta go check this thing out. The uh, off-brand Ford Ranger here got some serious upgrades. We kept the original bumper, uh, the whole winch setup there. We paint matched it to a bit of a red color. Uh, we kind of went with like a super, super dark red on the wheels as well, which I like. They're nice. Uh, I think one of these XKMC or X. D wheels or something I, I don't know some sort of off-road beadlock wheel brand and with these super wide axles like they're abnormally wide it makes these tires stick out like crazy but we've turned this thing into somewhat of a decent off-roading machine put a topper on it because why not beefed up a couple little things in the engine there so it's got just a little more horsepower a few other little things I kind of want to go take this out on our chorus screw real quick we uh, ended up lifting it up a little bit too because why the heck not and I think it's got some pretty good suspension yeah definitely I don't know if we need to go with smaller uh tires here because i don't think we got too much flex we got a decent amount but nothing too crazy that or I need to cut out the fenders one of the two things here but i mean it's got enough to get you by but all in all it's something kind of unique here i like it put some cool lights in it and the topper i don't know if we'll keep it we've kind of had a trend here with toppers actually i liked it so much on uh the other truck that i bought there that i just decided i'd put one on this but who knows what we'll do with it i've kind of wanted to go hit some trails recently and i figured you know what may as well build something that could do that we'll probably take this out on some trails at some point now for the absolute monstrosity of an xj the guys built here um one of my shop hands had these massive tires laying around his farm his grandparents farm or something like that and uh well we decided why not go all out we wanted to build something crazy with an xj for a while now and uh we figured this was the perfect opportunity so i'd say this is kind of a a mudding xj as opposed to i don't know an off-road one you'd still probably go off-road with this thing just probably not any rock climbing or anything like that no serious trails this thing is definitely built for mud we beefed up the engine a little bit so it has a little more power to you know turn these big old wheels and i mean it's got some serious suspension on it well the lift that is the, the suspension itself is not that great i mean when you stop the whole thing rolls forward but yeah maybe need some uh limiting straps or something i don't know but we'll figure it out eventually heck this thing might even Float how big these wheels are especially if we put duels on it it's got a winch in the back along with a winch in the front so uh double winches only won't be having any issues with getting out of anywhere i mean if you look at the flex on it it's got pretty good amount of flex so that'll do it and this thing is 
flipping tall like it is huge also that dude that uh traded in that truck he ended up having an emergency and had to fly out before he even had a chance to register it so uh i guess he's just waiting to come pick it up when he gets back anyway hopefully he gets back and uh that truck is still sold i mean technically it is i don't know i think this thing's pretty dang cool though actually i want to give the winch a try do we have a log around here or something i can winch all right i found a log so i believe if we do this Wait, check it out so this should oh yeah that's actually kind of cool it's winching it up well it works and it will definitely pull it all right well we know it'll tow a log anyways hope you all enjoyed subscribe and goodbye <laughs>